morning all. Steve here, out for a little uh, little bimble. Just filled up with fuel. Now off for a little ride. So I'm off up to uh, highways in Wolverhampton today, see if they've got a coil for my little uh, BSA long-term project. I did think it'd be done in a year, that was six years ago. Just got the engine rebuilt, so I need to uh, get it running first and then do some more work on it, like strip the forks because they look like rusty poles, prove the engine runs and then I can uh, invest some more time in it. It's not a restoration, it's a get it going, ride it. It's filled up with fuel, sometimes I feel a bit embarrassed about the fact that I can only get four quid in it. Takes me back to uh, moped days when you could fill the whole tank up for a quid and a half and ride all week. So then I'm going to go and see my mate in Stafford, see how he's doing. He's currently sorting out his workshop. I don't know what he's got at the moment, he's got about 11 I think. I seem to end up with his hand-me-downs. The, uh, the BSA came for him, my previous Triumph Tiger came from him, my GT380 came from him. He likes to buy stuff, do it up, give me first refusal, and then if I don't want it, sell it to someone else. So, he's a great chap. So, out for a ride, and I might even get a chance to uh, do the three R's that Craig has uh, nominated us for while I ride this bike. to going out in a couple of weeks time with Goose and Maverick somewhere. I don't know where we're going. Somewhere in Wales I think for the day. I do like going down to uh, to Newquay. I've got a family who've got a caravan down there and I do love it down there. But I've never ridden the bike there. I always fancy going down there. There's a great shop that does pasties for lunch. The bloke always recognises me when I go in. And there was my wife who didn't see me going the opposite direction. Cheeky beggar. So that directly in front, I think, I can see it when you go past, it's the Molyneux Hotel. It's quite a big place, I think it now houses collections of artefacts. I don't know if the walls are playing today actually. They might be, as soon as these cones are out. No, I don't do football. When I, whenever I hear anybody talking about football, it just sounds like blah, 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 blah. But each to their own. So there's the Molyneux, Wolverhampton Wanderers Football Club ground. Good indication, jockey. See whether Adam's got what I need. Leaving highways. Got plenty of coils, but the one that I did want looks like it's for a CDI model. And mine's a points model, so going to go and consult with my bike expert, see what he says. Radio on. I don't think she recognises my voice commands. Radio on. Oh, how come it works when you want it to work? Actually it works when you don't want it to work, and when it does want it to work, it works. Or something like that. Radio on. Radio on. Radio on. Music on. Radio on. I suppose I read the instructions really. Put the bloody thing on and then the radio comes on. But now I want it on, it won't come on. So I suppose it's about time I did my three hours challenge. Oh, is it a three hours challenge? I can't even remember what it is. I think it was three reasons why I ride this bike. Now I've been sort of like uh, having a bit of a thought around what the reasons might be. It's quite difficult really. You know, you just sometimes buy a bike because it's what you want. So I guess, why well, have I got this bike? So it was out of a bit of necessity really. I had a, um, a Tiger 955, um, which was a fantastic bike, but it was big. And when you filled the tank up with petrol, heavy as well. Now I'm only a bit of a skinny runt. 
tall enough, but uh, not exactly. I'm built for uh, speed, me, not comfort. So this thing was uh, getting to be on its last legs. It needed a bit of work, a bit of money spending on it. it needed the valve clearances doing. Uh, it wasn't charging the battery properly, so I decided to go and um, see if I could chop it in for something. So I had a look around. Oh, it was a screw there. I don't want that left somewhere. So um, I had a look around, saw this at uh, CMC in Cannock. Went and had a look at it. It comes. It came with full panniers, so full black plastic panniers on the back and the top box. And I thought oh, that's going to be ideal. It's easier than slinging panniers over the bike when you want to go away, and then having to take them off, stash them in your tent, etc. So so went and had a look at it. Um, liked it, took it out for a bit of a test ride, uh, quite pleased with it. I was a bit worried about how I'd go from something which was so smooth and quick once you wound it up to something a bit, uh, well obviously a single vibrating a lot, but to be honest I don't mind it. I've had big singles before, I've had a KLR 600, I've had a CCM R30 and um, I do like a single. It's a bit perverse, really. I had an XL185 years ago as well. So I do like a single, um, especially a big four-stroke single. Nice bit of engine braking. You don't have to worry about too much on the brakes. The supermotor, you could sling it about anywhere, not worry about the brakes too much. So, yeah, I was a bit concerned, but I bought it. I thought that if I wanted to, I could, uh, I could flog it on. Yeah, so when I look at it, I bought it. I thought it might be um, ideal for what I wanted, to be able to do some decent mileage on it. Um, plus it's light, and I do like the fact that it's light. Like I said, I'm not very um, not very big, so if it fell over, I'd be able to pick it up and uh, get it back on its feet, so to speak. And you can literally sling it anywhere. Now it is a bit um, it is a bit short for me, really. I've got I've got quite long legs. Um, I think I'm longer in the legs than I am in the body. Um, so yeah, so it is a bit short, so you do, I do look a bit gangly on it, but it's comfortable, it's, you know, it's got a lovely wide seat, wide handlebars, you know, you can do miles on it. It's even better now I put the, uh, the sort of touring screen on it, because you no longer get the sort of buffeting in the face. I do all my own work on it, I've changed the chains and sprockets, I've changed the oil, the battery's under here unfortunately, so if you ever need to get to the battery, you've got a load of screws to undo. Just a bit of a pain, so I fitted a, an Optimate remote lead so I can charge the battery without faffing around getting that off. Um, I haven't changed the tyres yet, actually. These are the tyres that came with it, but they're still good. It's got the centre stand. The tank is under the seat, so the centre of gravity is, is nice and low. You can quite easily do you know, 150, 160 miles without needing to um, fill it up, and even then, it, you, know, you very rarely get more than a tenner in it, um, which has been ideal when we've been out in Wales and... You know, looking for a petrol station to uh, to fill up with um, it just plods I can't fault it really the only thing I would like is I would like it to be a bit higher now it comes in allegedly in three different seat heights and I swear I probably bought the low seat height one so yeah that's really it I like the color I like the styling you know it looks like you can go anywhere and yeah you know, probably given the right tires you probably could yeah, like I say, when we go out for the rides with um, with Motor Rev, we've got a right mix of bikes. Maverick on his uh, on his Fireblade, Goose on his uh, on his Bandit, and then Matt on his uh, MT09 and me on this. So you know, it's quite a, quite a good variation. But they all get there, they all get back. You know, we don't ride around like nutters. So you know, it's uh, it's good fun. So yeah, so I think it's probably a keeper for a while. Um, until something starts going wrong with it and then I do the uh, the right thing and go pie exit for something else. Yeah, I like it. The only thing it could do with is a bit of a clean. I'm not one for cleaning bikes to be honest. I do them uh, every couple of months or if it's going for its MOT I'll give it a wipe down with a uh, with a wet wipe. I like it. That's why I bought it. It was cheap. It goes. It comes back again. So, I'll leave you there uh, and I'll speak to you later. This bridge has got to be the worst bridge ever. The lorry took that out the other week, it's closed for months. I've come round here in my camper van. There you go, there's another one. In my camper van, met a transit van on the other side. Hey, I'm back. 
So I just realised the camera wasn't on and all the best bit of the ride, I haven't recorded any of it. Never mind. So just on our way back home now, just been over my mates in um, up near Stafford, pick up some oil pipe from him for the uh, the BSA that I'm dicking about on. So anyway, this is up Cosford, near our area Cosford, where the uh, bike for life comes to. Which I've not been to yet, hopefully next year. It'll be nice getting out today. Some fresh air. Come on, Dick, me about the way. Ah, thank you all. Do I stop in j and and have a coffee? Yeah, probably if I go there, I'll spend money. No, I'm not going to get it. Hey, river crossing, it's just like being in the long way round. Except four foot long and about six inches deep. Right, I'll love you and leave you there.